And this is what happened the first time these two teams met. Letran beating Mapua 69 to 67. This is to say Letran has not lost a game since. Jonathan Algabe always with big numbers in big games, and that was a very big game for the Letran Knights. Now they are at 11 0 and going on the threshold of the first sweep since 1997. Can they do it? Standing in the way today is the Mapua Cardinals as we segue to today here at the Cuneta Astrodome, the 81st season of the NCAA. Maganda hapon po sa inyo lahat. Noel Zarate, privileged to be bringing this game to you alongside Bill Velasco and as we mentioned earlier, Mapua Letran. Letran going for a sweep. Yes, you can let go of my hands now. <laughs> no, but I remember that game very, very clearly. Jokerson Gonzalez had a 37-point game and in the last... Uh, uh, timeout before that last play, uh, Coach Rasulin said, Can you win and let's go for the three and the win. If we miss, we lose. But unfortunately, they throw away the inbound. So right now, uh, when we uh, we talk about these two teams right now, Lebron, as we mentioned, going first with 11-0. Mapua already assured of a final four slot as we take a look at our team standing here. Mapua is still trying to go for number two, which is still mathematically within their reach. All right, and uh, of course, the top two teams get twice to be an advantage in the round of four, the final four. Meanwhile, the Lebron Knights, if they win today, that will assure them at the very least a tie for top spot because, you know, it is still mathematically possible for TCU to also get 12 wins. All right, now let's take a look at some of the team stats coming into this game. Rebounding has been the name of the game here for Lebron College, but they have also been outscoring and limiting their opponents. All right, when you look at uh, the uh, Lebron Knights, you are looking at a team that's deep in every position. They can go big, they can go small, you know, they can shoot from the outside and they have the muscles to pound it inside. Mapua has always been known as a team that nobody gives a second look at until they get to the second round and say, hey, they're up there. So what uh, Mapua has to do today is make sure they do all the little things well. Block out, go after loose balls, run when they can, and try to catch Letran on the wrong foot. Well, one question here for Horatio Lim and the rest of the Mapua Cardinals. Can they get the same game that they got from Shanko in their last assignment against San Veda? All right, then that is the big question. The Shanko has been uh, something of a mystery to those who've been watching Mapua. He has been on and off because of the uh, different rotations that Horatio Lim puts in every game. You see a different starting lineup, somebody coming off the bench at different times. So you have to always be ready to bring your A game. Well, let's just we take a look at the comments right here. 4.9 points a game in their first 10 games, but against San Beda, the explosion of 15 points. Again, he is needed in this uh, attempt to upset. We're already saying at this point, upset the Lebron Knights trying to go for a sweep. And speaking of the Knights, Aaron Abad, or Aaron Abad, depending on how you want to call him, has been the key player here for the Knights. Oh, yeah, Triple A has been the lead, uh, leading scorer so far, and uh, he is one player whom Louis Alec loves. Primarily because of his versatility. He plays both ends of the floor very well. And he also brings a lot to the table. He can play two, three, and four, you know, when they move to their big lineup. Well, going for 12 straight wins, the longest streak since 1997. As we take a look at Abbott's numbers, against St. Benil, he exploded for 23 points, 15 in the second half, where he usually does his damage. And, of course, 11 rebounds and route to a double-double. Now, let's send it over to our Coliseum announcer. Lincoln Athletic Association. Season 81, 1 at 81. Our main game, our one big doubleheader. It's the Mapua Cardinals versus the Lebron Knights. Let's meet our starters. Starting for the Mapua Cardinals and guard number 12, Kelvin Delapena. And the other guard, number 16, Sean Cole. Center number 11, Kirby Del Rosario. Forward number 5, Tristan Belaga. And the other forward, number 6, Jefferson Gonzalez. The coach will have to hold him. Starting for the late Friday. And guard number 8, Boyan Bautista. And the other guard, number 12, Jonathan Aldave. Number four, Mark Gaia. Forward, number 10, Eric Rodriguez. And the other forward, number 17, Aaron Abbott. The coach, Louis Abbott. Don't forget to play the ball game. Everybody go play. 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 
basketball time before this game gets underway. The pressure has been mounting with every win as we take a look at the starting lineup. Here. Well, if the good Lord is a basketball fan, he'd be watching this game in particular. And you see the Knights knowing they have the size advantage. Already starting off with a big lineup. You have uh, Rodriguez, Aldave, and uh, Andaya in the front line. And, uh, that's what we were saying, the versatility and the depth that the Knights have is going to come out today. Let's run in the blue jersey while the uh, Mapua Cardinals in yellow. As uh, we take a look at our referees, of course, led uh, by uh, Efren Garcerio, veteran official, and immediately established by late call against the Knights. Now, one thing about uh, the Mapua Cardinals, they are a team that also shoots very well from the outside. So, kailangan matutuhan ang letran ng Knights yan. And you see the Knights are pressing early for some turnovers. And they just did that. Forced the turnover here against the uh, Mapua Cardinals. So, this will be a game that will be dictated by defense. De La Peña caught for stepping on the line there. Of course, Letran has been doing it uh, defensively in terms of uh, getting their wins here. 11 straight. Can you imagine that? Absolutely. And uh, I think you only have 14 games. That's right. So, hindi pa sila natitisod. Here's the attack now for the Knights. Three-pointer on its way, not there. And uh, followed by Aman. Not yet there, but again. There's Moeen Big right here. Smart Andaya getting his first two points in the game. Six foot seven. And Mapua going the other way. A layup here for Tristan Veranga. And he will get a foul. Well, the good thing for the Knights there is you see the big guy, Mark Andaya, chasing down that pass play. But that's what we were saying. Because the Cardinals really have to pick their spot. And they picked a really good spot here going in transition quickly after a made basket. Now, a three-point play opportunity for Tristan Veranga. Six foot two, uh, third-year player. And he is listed as a forward here for the uh, Mapua Cardinals. Of course, uh, Coach Horacio Lim hoping to avenge that two-point loss in their very, very first outing. You covered that game, Bill. It was a very, very close game. Well, uh, a career game uh, for Jefferson Gonzalez there. And, uh, you know, one thing you're going to notice about the Knights of defense, they deny Kelvin De La Pena the ball because he is the spirit of this team. Got a cross break here for the Cardinals. And that's an easy layup for Kelvin De La Pena. And uh, very quickly, the Cardinals are up to a uh, two-point lead, four to two. A minute gone by here in the first quarter. Now you see the uh, Cardinals are really just settling into a zone defense. They float a little bit, but they will change that look from time to time. Foul spotted here by our officials. And it's a pagamit ng zone dito, Bill. You know, Letran has a player here, Jonathan Aldabi, uh, Aldabi who likes to jack up three-pointers in their uh, last uh, assignment, actually, against the College of St. Benil. He was 4 of 13 from three-point range. 13 of them. Yes, that is that is a lot. But then he is uh, licensed to shoot. You know, Aldave, Piñera, occasionally Aban. There, they're given the green light because again, Letran's confident in its ability to rebound. Underneath we go. And that's a box play right there. And here comes the Cardinals once again, trying to do it in transition before the shot. No count on that shot here. And there's a technical foul spotted against one of the Letran Knights on defense. And it will go against Bautista. And Bautista trying to play innocent there, but uh, you know the referee spotted him sticking out his foot, if I'm not mistaken. And there it is. Yes, he stepped in. He has some kind of a uh, blocking agent right there. And he is assessed a technical foul and go. Oh. San Ko going to the free throw line. As we mentioned, the top of the coverage is 15 points against San Beda. Hindi pa karaniwan yung 15 points na yun. But now, the Mapua, or Horacio Lim, is hoping that he can get the 15 points, at least 15 points, in the remaining three assignments here. Yes. And, uh, you know, what is important for Mapua is they get off to a good start. Because this is a team that, that has long dry spells during a game. So it's not unusual to see them uh, go score for three, four minutes and then burst out again. So I guess that's not, they cannot afford that. Is this another team that is rebuilding? We'll find out right now. Let's take a look or let's listen to an interview here from Marlene Al Alcaide from the side of the track. Level of intensity. So if the Knights are really enthusiastic to get the championship ring, they have 
to be consistent to be able to maintain their killer's instinct. Then again, if Coach Harato win all the cardinal things that he has found in the night, well, Coach Rui has prepared a little element of the fight for today's ball game. So, well, Thank you very much, Malin. And um, speaking of the night, have they gotten the respect of getting 11-0? Well, you know, they had that at the start of the season. You know, when you interviewed all the teams, they were unanimous in saying PCU and Letran were the teams to beat this season. So, uh, everybody knows the capability of Louis Alas. Everybody knows the material that the Knights have to work with. So, you know, it's, it's not a question of whether they have the respect or not. It's a question of figuring out how to beat them. They have not respected that this Garaga offensively. That's the second field goal. It is 7-2, Mapua. And they have been doing this on a transition most of the time. Underneath, after that miss from Aldabe, we will have a foul spotted against one of the blue shirts, I'm, I believe, yes. And there it is. Yes. And, uh, you know, Mark Andaya just sat down. Uh, he picked up a useless foul. And at the same time, uh, you, you do not want to, to see your big man get into early foul trouble. In fact, Andaya already has two fouls. So, now, uh, Jonathan Aldave and Piñera uh, are the front line, and now uh, Aldave is going to sit down, and they have another substitution, so now a small lineup for Letran. Underneath, Jano Sario getting into the first layup right there. There, Mapu is doing the right thing. They really got to pile it on early because this is the team that comes back very strongly. But again, you know, the pressure of get of being undefeated for an entire season. Every win. But you know, Noel, the pressure is more really internally. How do you motivate the players? That's right. What, what's the point? You know, you have to set goals for them. What is the meaning of a of a sweep? for them, mm -hmm. you know, if, if their goal is a championship, if they get a sweep, that's okay, but uh, how do you keep the players motivated to keep on winning? And I don't remember a time when Louis Alas even came close to having a sweep. Oh, yeah. Uh, even as a player for, uh, for uh, Adamson uh, way back then. And it was Erod, Eric Rodriguez going to the free throw line. That foul was charged against Tristan Viraga, his first personal. And Rodriguez makes good on his first uh, free throw veto. And uh, Lefran, well, 11 0 as we mentioned at the top of the coverage. The uh, last time there was a sweep in the NCAA, you have to go back eight years ago to 1997 when, uh, when the Asante Bakken tag, led by a man named Romel Adukol, yeah. accomplished that feat. And uh, he carved a miss for himself there. Uh, yeah. 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 Hitting a three pointer, and now the biggest lead of the game for Makua. Let's try, try to uh, stymie this run by the Cardinals. Cannot generate any offense from the outside and they lose it. Here come the Cardinals on the attack once again. Zaraga for three. No. Foul to the rebound. Sean Paul, triple team. Has to kick it out. With small rotation. Another three pointer. This time nothing but net. Because it's net lang at tinamaan. Oh, at alam mo, partner, yan. Yan natin makikinig immaturity ng ibang player na mapo. Just because you hit one three point shot doesn't mean the next one is going to go in. Well, Nina Season has an update here from Mapua. Nina? The Cardinals have played their final four wearing goodbye, but this does not mean that they can now sit back and relax, especially for their dummy team. Coach Rasul instead, they are gearing up for greater heights, gunning for the second top spot, and also getting hard at work. For this ballgame, they must capitalize on their all out defense, block all driving lanes, and attack the inside like there is no tomorrow. Noel? Yes, and they really should be treating this game like that. There is no tomorrow. This should be like a championship game already for Mapua. You know, ang nakatigil sa street ng Letran. Oh, yes. Yeah. But, uh, but more than that, you see, it's more than just beating Letran because you are after a goal. If That's right. The goal, then the obstacles don't matter. And here's a uh, man yeah. coming in here for uh, well, JJ Alcaraz. Alcaraz. Yes. He has emerged to be a very reliable backup guard for the night. Dahil alam na nga natin, wala si Ron J.M. Rila this season. Foul spotted here against Letran once again at the uh, first uh, three, top three scorers by Letran. Here, they have to the all start to the letter A, Aaron Abal, Jonathan Aldave, and John Alcaraz. And uh, right now, already in the penalty with still 6 and 24 remaining, itong uh, koponan ng uh, Letran, and that last foul was charged against uh, Eric Rodriguez. Well, the Cardinals have been playing very aggressive ball, Noel, and that is what 
Uh, one thing that still sometimes surprises uh, is that uh, they won 11 straight. So how do you pump up your team? And then you have another team that's trying to use you to step up a rung higher. That's right. Dalapena misses the free throw with 6 and 24 remaining. You know, the, when De La Peña plays under control, the Cardinals are a very good team. Well, so far here in the first quarter, it's been uh, pretty erratic hitting a three-pointer, but now missing two free throws. And uh, lane violation, double lane violation, so the possession arrow pointing to the Cardinals. They get a break here. 12-5, Makua ahead by seven. San Paul to the honor from the baseline. Here's Jefferson Gonzalez. He has been quiet here in the first quarter. Del Rosario, turn around, two straw. Battle for the rebound, picked up here by the Knights, and they're off and running. Alcaraz, eluding the defense. Alcaraz. This is Aban. Aban. Going around, 10 seconds to shoot for the uh, Knights. Nothing from the outside once again. Another six minutes to play. Tumusubo, 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 Somehow not falling and a bad pass here for De La Peña. At this is what we said, that the ball is going to get out of the ball. That's right. I actually had an open shot right there. Better caught himself out of the shot. And we're going to have a foul here spotted against Mapua. And the third Serbian Del Rosario will be called for his first personal foul. As we have our third timeout here in the first quarter, 5 and 42 remaining. Mapua ahead by 7 against the undefeated Letran Knights, 12 to 5. We'll have more action from the Connect Astrodome when we return. Enjoy unbeatable hoop action in the 81st season of the NCAA with Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. <laughs> of the NCAA with Milo. Back with us here at the Cadet Astrodome and you're taking a look at Father Edwin Lau, the president of uh, Lebron. He's taking in the action right here. As uh, so are you, watching us here over Studio 23, ABS-CBS Sports coverage of the uh, 81st season of the NCAA. This is still Noel Zarate alongside Bill Velasco. 12 to 5 is the score. The Mapua Cardinals up early against the Letra Knights. And uh, the Cardinals are putting in some of some subs of their own as uh, Louis Alas has gone to his bench. And that is a very easy shot for the Knights because now uh, they are battling the Cardinals on even terms because most of the big guys are sitting on the bench. Well, that's a successful outside shot there for the uh, Letran Knights. Sean Cole lost the ball. Aban with the recovery, and here comes the Knights. And Bautista will slow things down. This is Boyan Bautista at that last basket, approaching the halfway mark here of this first quarter. Trapped in the side, and there will be another offensive foul called against Letran. It's on Jonathan Pinera. He was hooking Tristan Veranda going down the baseline to make sure that uh, Veranda didn't close him out. So that's just the first personal here against Jonathan Pinera, the uh, veteran, as we can uh, call him here, in the uh, Letran Knights uh, lineup. That's uh, Jonathan Algave on the bench. Five minutes to play here in the first quarter. 12 to 7 is our score right now. Cardinals hoping to add to that lead. Their biggest lead was at nine points. Bagaz to the open. There's a basket here from Sean Cole to Neil Pasquale. Yes. Uh, that's very important because they know that Sean Cole is a threat now, especially based on the last game. 
So you have players like you know Neil Pascal. These are the utility players that chip in four or five points a game. That's going to be big for Mapua. And uh, we have a traveling violation here started by referee Garcerio. Bautista is trying to do too much for his team at this point, Bill. A lot of uh, unusual things happening to Letrando, getting into foul trouble early. They're committing uh, quite a few uh, turnovers, so medyo hindi maganda signalis ito. But then again, it's still too early to panic. Well, as we were talking about Louis Alas earlier, as we see here, a uh, fast pace play out of nowhere, Sanko darting towards the lane, and he gets a good pass right there, and back to another 9-point lead for the Cardinals. We were talking about Louis Alas and his success as a coach. Uh, we were talking about winning streaks also. He had 11 straight here, but uh, as the head coach of the Manila Metro Stars in the Fox NBA, he did so much more than this. 22 straight games, but then you had uh, a four of uh, Alex Thompson, Ibet Kimape, Romel Adubel, Don Camas, and Peter Martin. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Underneath, tried to do too much that time on Zeranga, and we have a foul spotted in the backcourt. Yes, Neil Pascual, uh, Throwing down John Realista after failing to climb over somebody's back to get the rebound. It's a little bit to see Realista to climb over his back. And uh, of course, now it is 16 to 9 with under 4 minutes to play, 3 and 57 to be exact. And the Mapuma supporters usually walang t shirt yung mga yan, pero medyo may malamig. Medyo malamig dito sa kuneta. Baka iba yung nakasulat sa loob. Hindi pwede ipakita sa TV. 3 and 50 to play here in the first. Boyan Bautista, driving, running shot, Alamay Kilbao, no. Battle for the rebound, Teka Muna, Teka Muna, sabi ng ating referee, and another foul spotted underneath, and this will put the Cardinals in the penalty. Pangalawa na yan ni Saranga, Bill. Oo, at alam mo, maganda nito, they're realizing, the Knights are realizing that they're not hitting the outside shot consistently, so even if their big men are sitting on the bench, they have to be able to pound the ball inside. Well, that's exactly what they're trying to do right now. And, uh, well, ito, balasa na balasa na tao na si Coach Horacio Lim. Jefferson Gonzalez is back in. As at the free throw line ngayon para sa Lebron Knights is uh, John Realista. It's a big guy. He's uh, about 6'4". Looks bigger than 6'4", actually. Yeah, he was uh, actually getting a lot more playing time the past couple of seasons. Kaya ngayon, oh, may kapatid, especially with the emergence of Mark Andaya. He got bumped down a slide. Underneath offensive rebound, but still no footback here from the front. Pinera unable to catch in and then jump off. Lee is down to six. Sorry, the lead yeah. is down to six. The Chompo, Tumalino, the, these guys, they also have to do their share, especially on defense side. Mas maraming ang uh, tandaan na hain ng Lebron. Well, that's just one of the weapons in the Lebron of Mapua. Jefferson Gonzalez finally getting involved in the offense. Well, I guess he's trying to remember the kind of game he had against Lebron in the first round. That's right. You mentioned career game. He's been having career games every day for uh, Mapua right here. And Mapua again in transition. Gonzalez has to uh, step back. And now they will go into their set offense. Raymond Choco is in the game for the first time. Choco being watched by a smaller Bautista. Outside, Gonzalez. No, not back to back. Now for the rebound picked up here by the Knights. Bautista. Up really talaga. Bautista. Reminiscent of Tony Parker. And he will be getting to the free throw line. I think a lot of people forget that Boy Bautista was a superstar in high school. It's just, it's just that he spent most of his college career playing alongside somebody named Ron Jr. That's right. But now, he's got the stage all to himself. But right now, it is also still a 9-point lead for the Mapua Cardinals against the Letra Knights. 2 and 41 remaining in the first. Kapi Poy, magpabalik. Witness hardcore basketball battles in the 81st season of the NCAA with PS Bank Auto Loan. Simple lang. First time? Yes. What's your name yet? Brittany. Great name. My best. Mr. Santiago? Everything's okay. You can see her now. Wow. So fast. At PS Bank, we know what it's like to buy a new car. We make it faster and easier than you ever thought. Yes, thank all of them. Thank you.
matchup, a ball marking matchup featuring the two top scorers for both teams. Uh, Jefferson Gonzalez for Mapua against Jonathan Aldave, of course, of Lezran. 14 points, 6 a game against 11 points per game, but it's more of the impact these two players give to their team that really makes a difference. Oh, yes. Um, you know, Jonathan Aldave is somebody who can score big in the fourth quarter. Jefferson Gonzalez is uh, somebody who can score all throughout, but again, yung uh, sinasabi natin kultura ng uh, Mapua is madalas nabablang ko rin sila eh kaya doon nakakahabol yung mga kalaban well, let's see if there's uh, some kind of maturity already in this their uh, 12th game of the season for the uh, Mapua Cardinals of course it's still with us Noel Zarate and Bill Velasco coming to you live from the Cunet Astro Masoy and Bautista 6 2 free throws to cut the lead down to 7 points it is still Mapua up 19 to 12 Two minutes and 33 remaining here in the first quarter. And right now, Herman Tumalino, one-time member of the national youth team. Here's Raymond Chonko with a stretch. No. Rebound picked up here by Adabo. Bautista in the front court. Has to step back. Here's the drive once again. Off the glass. Nothing there for Aaron Aman. So they have been getting their opportunities, the front half, but parang may nakaharap sa ring nila eh. At hindi lang yun, Noel, if you'll notice, not too many second shots in this first quarter for Lebron. Because, again, you have their big guys like Mark Antaya sitting on the bench. Yes, blame it on two fouls early para dito kay Mark Antaya. Shot clock down to five. Do the Cardinals know it? Two, one. I don't think they're going to get a shot off and they don't. Yan ang tinatabi natin, partner, yung mga malilit na bagay. Keeping track of the shot clock, going for the loose ball, not throwing the ball away, boxing out. These are the things that Papu has to do on a very consistent level against a quality team like this. They have 7-4, yung kanilang record coming into this game. As we mentioned, already assured of a Final Four appearance. Habol na lang nila rito is a tie for second place. Should that happen? Let's uh, let's figure that one out. As we take a look, Christian, at, uh, yes. Christian Guevara and uh, Raymond, Raymond Dula. Dula. Yes, it's a couple of uh, recently graduated Mapua Cardinals. That's right. We have another offensive foul, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the fourth offensive foul already called against the Lebron Knights here in the first quarter. Very un Lebron. And you know, this has really extended this first quarter. Dahil ito mo isang minuto kalahati pa tayo. Mapua hanging on to a. Seven point lead, but you notice the past couple of trips down the floor they haven't scored. That's right. Hoping to break that trend is this offensive. Are the Cardinals? And Jamaica Layuan, it's on the uh, Kelvin De La Pena almost losing it. De La Pena has to recover. Last second passes it off. Jumper from the baseline. Not there. And the follow up is in. Yes. Jose Rosario is uh, one of the most underrated big men in the NCAA, but he can do a lot of little things that help keep this team together. Reminds me a lot of Alvin Peng actually, too. Trying to keep the ball alive. Cardinals do not, so Lezan has a fresh 24 second shot clock with 52.3 remaining here in the first quarter. Lezan has been down by big margins before, but has somehow found the energy to win. Aaron Abad for three! You look at that shot, nakala mo kapos, but then that's the kind of jumper that Aban has. And another steal here, Anabo going over to Alcaraz, and Alcaraz will get the layup and just like that, five straight points for the night. And no lead is safe when you're playing with Rani Mapua, she must have learned this lesson by now. And another bad pass, almost a steal. Naubusan lang ng uh, espasyo itong uh, Lezran Knights uh, and uh, Kindai was on the scene right there pero he just couldn't reach it. Coach Louis Alas, you don't know if he's winning or losing by uh, his expression right there but we have a timeout here called by Mapua. 21-17. All of a sudden, it's just a four-point lead for the Cardinals. Start your day right with your family. Family Rosary Crusade. Saturday, 7 a.m. on Studio 23. Studio 23, I'm Pedro Moore. You guys are as much part of the show as everybody here. Get sports news, stats, and highlights from Gino and Chingai on Sports TV. Giving you the real score. Saturdays at 6 p.m. on Studio 23. About Pedro Moore. Next on Desperate Housewives. Next. 
please, I want to understand. Go ahead and tell her. I like to be dominated. Huh? Sexually. Huh? Or better yet, show her. Fine. On Death for Housewives, Thursday at 9, 10 p.m. Here on Studio 23, Cabarcada Moore. Be part of the intense action of the 81st season of the NCAA with Globe Context. Be one of us. I'm sure you love her. Hi, Naoma. Sobra. Nahanap mo na rin, ha? Oo naman. Alam mo, ay nakita mo siya. Perfect. Ma, hindi ka na niniwala, no? Alin mo dito? Oo ba? Kailan mo gusto? Eto nga, katabi ko, eh. Believe it or not, we're still in the first quarter of this game between Mapua and Mizan. 26.7 seconds remaining. Coming off a Horatio Lim timeout. And this is the thing that uh, great teams do. Is they put the screens on you when the end of the quarter is nearing. And they're pressuring Kelvin de la Peña. And it shows. I mean, people forget he's just a rookie. And a turnaround here. Voila. Para na naman dito sa Mapua, but they do get it back, and as you mentioned, Del Rosario, one of the most unheralded players here, is, uh, making some damage here for the Cardinals. Only two seconds remaining here in the first, a foul with eight tenths of a second remaining, and that will mean free throws once again for Mapua. Uh, those are the fouls that add gray hairs <laughs> to coach's head. Coach Louis Alas pointing out something that uh, could have been avoided. Yeah, I think uh, what what Coach Louis keeps trying to repeat to his players is because they, they have a, a combination that does not really play together that much. We, we want the boys to communicate better. He's been planting his, uh, his fingers yes. open and close at the, the guard to try to make sure that everybody's on the same page. But Pascual, at Neil Pascual making his first free throw and rimming out on his second. We have a double uh, lane violation with one tenth of a second remaining. That's uh, Billy Ray and Abo. Uh, yes. Was on the other side, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think their mothers would appreciate so <laughs> <laughs> 23 18, one tenth of a second. It's something to just bang a hapul into the uh, Rasa Lim. And the uh, Andrew Salute will see his first action here in the uh, protracted first quarter. And Abba not able to get that shot off in time. And at the end of a very long first quarter, the Mapua Cardinals find themselves ahead by five. 23 to 18 against the erstwhile undefeated uh, LeBron Knight. We'll be back for more NTA action when we return. New Ion Energy Drink from Repicon. Energize with Ginseng, Royal Silk, Iron, and Multivitamin. Salasa pala, like Sipana. New Ion Energy Drink from Remicon. Condition Ion. Non-stop chilling and grooving. Top-rated cheering squads will bring it on in the Nestle Non-Stop Cheer Dance at the 84th season of the NCAA on Studio 23. Only from you Nestle Non-Stop Rated R. Intoxicatingly good. Tatangos na ang ilong mo. Gaganda ng kutis mo. At papayat ka na. Malapit na sa Studio 23, Kabarkada mo! Start of the second quarter, folks, right here from the Coneta Astrodome. This is the 81st season of the NCAA 1 at 81, coming to you live over Studio 23. That's us, Noel Zarate, alongside Bill Velasco. And uh, your assessment of that first quarter for the Knights who are training now by five, Bill. Well, if I'm the, if I'm the Knights, I'm not really going to be too worried. First of all, Mark Andaya is going to be coming back into the game. He rode out the first quarter because he picked up two fouls early. So now they're back to their, you know, their usual uh, larger than life size but for the Mapua Cardinals it is going to be very encouraging because they've been able to hold their own now the question is kung gaano katibay gaano katatag itong uh, lamang ng Mapua because again the little thing holding on to the ball you know like in the case of Kelvin De La Pena we always talk about him because 
he's the one who really carries the team. And uh, you were just talking about the La Peña, as if on cue, he rams into uh, Anapo and will be called for his first personal foul. But again, another turnover. And uh, is he the point guard of this uh, unit right now? Actually, or, uh, some people actually? believe he'd be a better shooting guard. But, you know, he's got great athletic ability. It's just that his timing and his judgment sometimes hurt the team. It's more of a judgment of, no, if you're a guard trying to be a point guard. Talaga, yun ang unang titignan yung judgment. Yung tinatawag nilang yung hatak mo ba? Oo. Siyempre, yung discarte. Discarte, yes. And now you see... Now some more second shots for Letran. So that was one thing that was said about Ron Jay and really a very talented point guard for Letran. Kulang daw sa bata. Kulang daw sa bata. So good lang daw na so good. I mean, that was the one flaw in his game. He would be an excellent point guard had that not happened, of course. And really not in the lineup anymore for Letran. But Boyan Bautista has shown and really like magic. But at the same time, it's a very good uh, uh, indication of the best uh, example I can think of right now, really Sexton Calma. Oh yes, but uh, you know, one thing about uh, Boy Bautista is now he is shooting more. Yes. And he, his shot selection is superb. Well, 23-18 right now is still our score. Uh, the, we've just been handed some numbers from our first uh, half of action. 14 rebounds already for Lebron. They're expected uh, to get that much rebounds because they are averaging over 45 a game. De La Peña drops it off inside and Salud gets his first two points. And uh, more numbers in that uh, first quarter. 11 rebounds uh, for Mapua. It's uh, the technical uh, or the turnover point, really. It's uh, four turnover points as opposed to 12 for Mapua. So Mapua has really capitalized on all the turnovers here of Letran in that first uh, quarter. But now Mapua tries to add to that. De La Peña in the front court. De La Peña bothered by Alcaraz. Has to step back. Salud at his first field goal earlier. Tries to add a second one. No loose ball foul called. Aldave was uh, pushing against Pascual. But again, you know, when you look at uh, the way they executed that, uh, that was a blown pass break for Mapua. De La Peña had his head down and wasn't looking uh, using his peripheral vision to see who else was open and he could have gotten a layup in, uh, and in the initial shot. Well, that, that's the uh, sign of a good point guard. You develop your peripheral vision, which was a uh, comment uh, about uh, Paulo Mendoza. When he was still playing for UP, he was playing as a uh, shooting guard and they uh, tried to convert him to a point guard. Just until they had to pull the peripheral vision. Yeah. Outside shooting, not there. Para dit, uh, Mapua, and here comes Aaron Aban. Aban is yet to get on track in this game. Bautista looking for a friend. And the backdoor play was there, but it's a lot of tears at home. And Papua surviving an attack there from the front. Well, Rodriguez jumped a little too soon that time, so he didn't get a full grip on the ball when he was on his way down. Here's Salud going over to De La Peña. De La Peña thinking about the shot. Steps back further. De La Peña, no. Battle for the rebound. Picked up here by Rodriguez. And here comes Boyan Bautista once again. Under eight minutes to play here in the second quarter. Bautista goes all the way, running hook shot. No. At Mabawi naman na fast break dito, Mapua. Sean Ko. That was a great move by Sean Ko because he caught Jonathan Aldave backpedaling and he crossed over. Yes. So nalito ngayon uh, si Aldave, he got caught between backing up and sliding laterally. Hindi siya tawag na ankle break move. Oh, yes. Ankle break move. Take a look at this again. Yeah, Aldave was indeed backing up right there. Just clipped the arm of Sean Ko. Now Sean Ko had a coming out party against the Veda, who mentioned earlier, scoring 15 points. And uh, right now Ko has a total of uh, four points. Oh, that's uh, already matching his average. He mm -hmm. makes it. But he does not. But another lane violation. And this is in a rampant call here. In, uh, in my coverage of the NCAA, at least, I've seen about seven or eight uh, lane violations, sometimes double lane violations. Ayan, alam mo kung minsan, sinasabi nila masyado may exit niya ng red tree, pero those are the rules of the game. That's right, no? Hindi ka pwede pumasok hanggang hindi pa tumatama yung bola sa ring. Eh kung minsan, syempre, pare-pareho naman kayong matataas tumalon, mag-uun sa mga kayo. 27-18, once again, the lead is nine. And a bad pass there from Andaya. Here comes De La Peña. That's the way to do it. But, you know, again, you know, we're not really being hard on him, but fast break basketball is you find the open man. Sean Poe was already a step ahead and open on the other side. But I, I, I think it, it, it's okay to be hard on him. Oh, yeah. This guy has a lot of talent. But unfortunately mm -hmm. for him, 
is a rookie who has to play starter minutes. Well, if so, yun lang ang, yun lang ang mahirap dahil hindi na, hindi na siya pwedeng bigyan ng pagkakataon na magkamali. Well, you're, you're mentioning him being a rookie. He has three more years oh, yeah. to blossom, especially under the system of Mahal Rasmus. Four more years to blossom here. Outside of that, is there. he takes free divinity or medicine. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. Jonathan Aldave hitting from the outside. And uh, the lead is down to nine. And uh, Mapua losing the ball again. Ayun, yung sinasabi natin, communication. And, uh, you know, Delapena is uh, blaming Sumalino for that. But at the same time, you have to call out the player's name when you're passing the ball. Yeah, that's what the ball is. And Sumalino will take a seat here for the Mapua Cardinals. Coming in is Raymond Gorospe. 6 and 52 remaining. Here in our second quarter. Glad to have you with us for the 81st season of the NCAA or NCAA 1 at 81. Here's Boyan Bautista. Aldave, nice thing. Aldave airborne, yes. And that was a move he didn't have two, three years ago. He was just a straight spot up shooter, but now he's worked on his conditioning and he's worked on being able to get a second look at the basket. You look like a dandy to mga batang, so they, they adjust very well. Nalalaman lang kung kulang sa mga laro nila. They adjust very well to coaching. Bautista in the front court. Bautista leading the fast break. Oh, what a block, but there will be a foul called against uh, the Cardinals right now. And, uh, well, with 6 minutes and 11 seconds remaining here in the second quarter, it could have been a good uh, defensive uh, effort here for Mapua, but they do not get rewarded for it. All right, let's take another look at this. Great spin there by Bautista. John Paul really getting up there. And they uh, claim it's body contact, so... Uh, Abad gets to get free throws, and while he's doing that, let's turn it over to Marlene Alcaide for this update from the Letra Knights. This is basketball. Lumalamang talaga ang kalaban. Coach Jubik here said they don't have to get frustrated this early because we still have a lot of time. Coach Jubik puts his voice to talk in the record. He said that their only problem is we don't communicate. We always assume that their teammates know what they want to happen. So this time around, Coach Jubik wants to see more defense from the Knights. Well, thank you very much, Marlene. And is there such a thing, Bill, as over motivation already at this point? <laughs> well, when you do that, your players tend to tune out. But look, another turnover forced by a defensive chance. And again, the problem of Mapua is with the guards. The guards are being pressured. They've got their heads down when they're dribbling into the paint. They can't see who they're going to pass the ball to. Well, right now, you know what, what Letran is doing is we usually see this in the third or fourth quarter. You can go on a little bit of uh, the fight defense forcing turnovers as we take a look at this uh, spectacular move here by Aban. And, uh, you know, this is some, to send some kind of a message here to Mapua. Akala nyo, easy-easy lang kayo ng first one. Pero eto na yung totoong laro namin. Uh, hindi lang naman sa ganun, Noel. No? Aside from that, it's also them trying to wrestle the tempo back in That's their favor. Well, Baranga is back in the game. He was successful in the first quarter offensively. And again, De La Peña almost losing it. Baranga recovers from 20 feet. That's short. He does not have a uh, good footing. It is a square. You know, you come off the bench. I think the last thing you want to do is take the first shot that you get yeah. a look at. You know? I mean, any coach will tell you that. It takes you a while to get into the rhythm. And it is very rare when you have a player who just comes into the game and makes an impact right away. That's right. And those are the... Uh, what they call that high impact bench players, the six man awardees usually that's what they give to a team. Outside of that, there, oh, another three pointer! I don't have an uh, outside shot from opposite corners of the floor that really shows his versatility. Uh, we are tied at, we are tied at 29 right now. We're in the middle of an 11 to nothing run. I don't have one night, and they appear not to be done yet. And wait a minute, Dabbling, that's a good call by the referee. Right on top of that play. Well, Dabbling was unable to uh, prevent himself from sliding just before pivoting. But, Noel, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, hindi pa panahon para kabahan ang Letran. Dahil maaga pa, ngayon, nakabalik na yung malalaki nila, napupukpuk na nila yung mapuha sa loob. Let's go back to the report of Marlene. It, it's already the players, not to we, Alas, who are getting frustrated with themselves here in the second quarter. Ito talaga din ang pukpukin na yung mapuha. Ngayon pa lang. And look, they continue to pressure the point guard. That does a lot of things. It slows them down, throws mapuha off its rhythm, and 
irritates the heck out of the point guard. That's the best, uh, that's the best uh, description right there. Salud looking for a friend. Gonzalez, they have really handcuffed Gonzalez offensively here. Veranga underneath, turned back by Andaya. Well, he bounced off uh, his defensive man and that took a little out of his uh, jumping ability enough to slow him down for Andaya to block the shot. And now another unsuccessful uh, offensive thrust there for the Letra Knight. What I like about what Mapua is doing is he's easily not able to stop by the Letra. That's why he's trying to push it up. Mapua is saying, let's set it up. The La Peña, that's not what set it up. He wants to just back up front. And Bautista ahead and El Tabe gets the layoff. And both of them now, Letra has reclaimed the lead. And this is a confident boost for the Knights. And you know, the Cardinals are going to have to regroup here. An unnecessary foul there by El Dabe. The bad part about the Cardinals is uh, Bill, they used two timeouts in the first quarter. So, well, as you know, the timeout the Mapu put that into the second quarter, unless they want to burn their third quarter timeout right here. A couple of substitutions on the pace is really starting to pick up. It's getting a little more physical. So you need some fresher legs. Uh, 3 and 47 left. And you know, one thing though about uh, Mapua is they have not given up too many fouls in this game. So I don't know if that's a sign that their defense is not as aggressive as it could be. Dahil ang letra, nakukuha nila yung tempo ng laro. That's right. Sa tindi ng defense na nila. And even in the half court, the front defense is extending right now. Hermes Malinov is back in the game. Raymond Chonko. Going out, Jefferson Gonzalez. Gonzalez finally gets involved. That was a very tough shot. First, he had to get past Aaron Abba and then over Mark Andaya. And here's Andaya right now. No look pass. Magilin, three pointer, not there. Para Mehabat. This all picked up here by Raymond Chonko. Cardinals are off and running. Chonko slipping. Recovering in the nick of time. Sumalino lost it. Andaya has it. The little thing, Noel. The little That's thing. Right. And last time here on Raymond Chonko, we are tied at 31. And we can hardly hear ourselves here, uh, Bill. Buti lang, maganda-gandang headset na ako dito. Pwede, nagsisigawan na tayo. Both bands are also competing against each other here in the Coneta Astrodome. 31 all. A fortune three minutes remaining here in the second half. Or make that the second quarter. Drop pass. This guy, Leroy! Great pass from J.P. Alcaraz, drew his defensive man to him and just shoveled it uh, to Rodriguez. For two minutes and 46 remaining here in the uh, first half of action. This is actually the biggest lead of Nebran, two points. The first time they left was a 2-0 before this point. Entry pass, now they can go for their biggest lead. Alcaraz fouled in the backboard by Chonko. That was the third team foul. For Mapua to prevent this measure shot para hindi mo naman nabalaki ng Letran. Well, double block either. First of all, jo uh, Choco committed himself by getting to the air and had nobody to pass the ball to. Then he commits a foul. Let's run. Two's for time. Two and 31 remaining here in the second quarter. The night, all of a sudden, up by two. Power up for the unstoppable excitement of the 81st season of the NCAA with Mentos Power Gum, the chewing gum for instant fresh breath. Hi, I'll just be a minute. Have 
and trap on that false sense of security early in this ball game. And now that the Knights are on the lead, they must tighten down their muscles, attack at all costs, and control the board. The Cardinals also need to threaten the Knights again and leave them breathless. Noel? Leave them breathless. That's something that we look forward to here from the uh, Mapuo Cardinals. As right now, it's uh, Mapuo who seems to be a little breathless right now. Try to save off this attack from the Letran Knights, Bill. Yes, and uh, you know, Noel, again, they're being forced into situations that they don't like. Like uh, now you've got the ball in the corner and uh, nowhere to go. And with the shot clock winding down also, Alcaraz, with under two minutes remaining here in the second quarter, if he picks it up, it's a backing violation, and he does. Ball goes back to Mapua. Now, uh, Malgapo trying to turn the tables on the Letran Knights, and you know, the best time to really trap somebody bringing up the ball is just as he crosses the half court line oh because even better defender yes guys. even better if it's in the corner mm -hmm. that gives you two defenders the yes. sideline and the mid court line all right now with a minute and 49 remaining that's not already the penalty here and you know Letran is playing a man-to-man -man defense and that takes a lot of endurance that's why puro uh, fresh legs to play about the the coach Louis Alas as Alcaraz is now the point guard for Letran Outside of that, yes, that's going to be a very important shot for Mapua because what Letran is doing is they've got Andaya against Neil Pasquale who is not supposed to be a threat and then Andaya drops down whenever somebody penetrates. So Pasquale has to hit that shot consistently to keep Andaya on it. And uh, losing the ball right here is Alcaraz. It was tapped out 11 seconds remaining on the shot clock for the Letran Knights. Again, we are tied at 33, deadlock number four in this game. And Jonathan Pinera has to come in for uh, Andaya. Now Andaya is blessed not to pick up his second or his third foul here in the second quarter. Bautista comes back in. So uh, shuffling of the men. Patuloy pa rin ang balasa rito ni Coach Lee Alas to maintain this high intensity uh, defense and offense that he's playing here in the second quarter. Well, I expect Lekran to intensify the pressure as we approach halftime because that's one thing that they do very well. Change the tempo on this. To beat the shot clock, no. Bautista put it up with uh, a second remaining, a minute and seven remaining deep as the uh, first half of action. Here's Neil Pasquale playing the long court. Hermes Tumalino going inside. Maglapo lost it. Maglapo will recover. Shot clock down to nine. Double team. Difficult shot there for Gonzalez. Probably looking for a foul. Absolutely. And now watch this. Bautista is going to crank it up. Bautista. Going in the speed of light, Quantum Billy Telang, he would have traveled back in time. But uh, he will be called for the offensive foul well, right there. If he had done that, he would have ended up in the first game. <laughs> and Lord knows what uh, would have been called. No, traveled back in time, he would be playing back up to Ron Jane, really. Well, you know. <laughs> talking about traveling back in time, that's where Bob and Butch came from. <laughs> <laughs> of course, our first game uh, panel. Bob Tavales and Butch Maniego, very good friends of ours. Of course, absolutely. We lived in another time. <laughs> 41 seconds to play here in the first half. They are actually personal acquaintances of Fred Flintstone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 33 ball. So they, they, have they, have to 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 they have to stop their cars with their feet. And the guy on. Maglapo finds an opening. Inside the Sumalino. <laughs> And it is a two-point lead for Mapua. And boy, would they like to go into the halftime break with the lead. But they have to stop this attack now for Letran. The shot clock is off. And they still have a foul to give. Do they know that? That's the question at this point. And a jumper. We are all tied once again. A Siena beats the second quarter horn. 35 for the Letran Knights. 35 for the Mapua Cardinals. And it has been that close here at least in the second quarter as Letran has staged the comeback. But we are still tied going into halftime. We'll have more action from the 81st season of the NCAA 1 at 81. When we return, stay with us.
you all excited and all thrilled because both teams, the Leta Knights and the Mapuo Cardinals, have 35 points before ending the first half. Meanwhile, out here, out to outstep everyone in NCAA, we have the Mapuo Tier Pink Cardinals. On Gilmore Girls. Want to make it big in the business? Yes. Then you gotta put up with her. I assume you'll have servants. Her. Very ambitious. And only her. Uh, on a back-to-back -back episode of Gilmore Girls. Saturday at 7 p.m. on Studio 23. How about a tanda more? Hindi mo na kailangan ng pera. Hindi mo na kailangan ng tickets. Sumipot ka lang. Every Wednesday, makakapunta ka na kung saan-saan. It's really beautiful. It's nature. The Travel Show. Wednesdays, 11.30 p.m. on Studio 23. How about a tanda more? Hindi mo na kailangan ng pera. Hindi mo na kailangan ng tickets. Sumipot ka lang every Wednesday at makakapunta ka na kung saan-saan. It's really beautiful. It's nature. The Travel Show. Wednesdays, 11.30 p.m. on Studio 23. Kamakada mo!
Next on Gilmore Girls. Want to make it big in the business? Yes. Then you gotta put up with her. I assume you'll have servers. Her. Very ambitious. And only her. Uh, on a back-to-back -back episode of Gilmore Girls. Saturday at 7 p.m. on Studio 23. How about a time? Next on Postman Pat, the best mailman in town, Cheerio, can be a great artist too. Your model is the best size. Postman Pat, Saturday, 10 a.m. on Studio 23. Cabarcada, more. Next on Jack and Bobby, the man who became everybody's leader had a big boss of his own. I was born Catholic. Not everybody that is religious is crazy, you know. Jack and Bobby, Saturday, 8.40 p.m. on Studio 23. Cabarcada, more. First season of the NCAA with PS Bank Auto Loan. Simple lang. First time? Yeah. Choose a name yet? Brittany. Great name. My best. Mr. Santiago? Everything's okay. You can see her now. Wow. That was fast. At PS Bank, we know what it's like to buy a new car. We make it faster and easier than you ever thought. PS Bank all of them. Be like. All that is our score here at the half. The Mapur Cardinals and the Letran Knights have battled to a standoff here in our first half of action. The Wells are at this still alongside Bill Velasquez. We take a look at some numbers from our first half as we take a look at the field goal numbers here. Mapua has attempted more and the uh, Oh, I think it's a good thing for Mapua to get a lot of cracks at the back because, as you said, this is a team that. Uh, lives and dies with the kind of intensity that they put out and uh, you know unusual for Letra to have that many turnovers in a half and but uh, uh, look at the turnover points there so right. Mapua's cashing in well in the first quarter they have uh, they had 12 turnover uh, points at the Mapua Cardinals but only six in the second quarter let's take a look at some highlights from our first half of course we, we talk about the Letra night we talk about one man uh, Aaron Abba, we've been talking about him the whole game. Oh yes, and uh, you know, Abba has so far been very consistently, but as you said, he does a lot of his damage in the second half. Well, uh, the guy doing the damage right here is De La Peña for the uh, Mapua Cardinals, but his erratic play continues also here. Can he pick up the pieces in the third quarter? Let's find out. Among the leading scores, of course, De La Peña with seven. Abba, the only player in double figures in this game so far with ten. All right, so let's uh, find out now what kind of an attack that, uh, that uh, Letran will have, because it is more upon Letran trying to really try to dictate the tempo because when the game started Mapua jumped on them right away that's right but my question to you Bill is Mapua in a position that they like right now well you have to be happy whenever you're you're playing against an undefeated team and you are starting from zero you know in the second half but I think Mapua would be happier to have a substantial lead especially if they're going into the fourth quarter Rodriguez gets hostility started here in the third quarter with a drive and for Eric Rodriguez, that is his fifth point of the game, 37-35. And so far, it seems more or less close to the kind of uh, scoring clip uh, that they normally have. I expect the scoring to dip in the second half. One name we did not really uh, talk about in that first half of action for the Mapua Cardinals is Jumpington Gonzalez. He has been limited to only five points here, but we all know that he explodes usually in the second half. So let's see if that happens here. For the Cardinals, Sean Crop and under. Veteran moves there. You know, talking about Jefferson Gonzalez, he's usually defended by an Aaron Aban or Andrew Kendai. Similar players, uh, strong upper body. So, nahihirapan just to get that first step. Aban gets the baseline, side step, and that almost went in. He's looking for a goal stand, this uh, Coach Louis Alas right here. Uh, yeah, but it's not so much that the ball was on the downward path, but more that it was trapped against the ground. Yes. We have a jump ball and possession arrow pointing to the Mapua Cardinals once again. Veranga inbounding to a trap here. Veranga, siya na magtatawid ng bola para dito sa Mapua. And he has shown very good ball handling skills for a guy who's about 6'2", 6'3". Here's Ko, feeling it. Ko, off the glass. Puro glass ang tinaman. Oo. Nananalamin. 
Boyan Bautista going nowhere fast, losing the ball, caught up to himself, ball lost it. And uh, na-recover ni Bautista pero nato na siya sa pulang bahagi ng court. Yeah. Na, na Can you imagine the burst of speed it took for Boyan Bautista to catch up to the two Mapua players? And he was down on the deck, yes. Well, before that play happened, Horacio Lim on your uh, screen briefly, still tied at 37. Cardinals can get the lead back in this offensive. Veranga for three. No. Rebound picked up here by Boyet Bautista. He wants to slow things down. Trapped in the corner is uh, Aban. And uh, we have a foul here spotted against one of the Cardinals. And this one will go against Gonzalez. Ako, pangatlo na yan. Gonzalez, Phil. And that is going to be big for Mapua. And, uh, you know, Coach Horacio Lim is not the kind of coach who lets who risks his players fouling out of the game unless it's a very close game and it's in the fourth quarter already. Well, as we just mentioned, uh, he's already sending Urban to Malino to the official table. And a steal here by De La Peña. De La Peña in the front court. De La Peña does not take the layup. Rodriguez makes sure that Letran keeps the ball. Bautista over to Aldave. Aldave for three. In and out. Battle for the rebound, picked up here by the Cardinals. One shot allowed naman itong Litran. Oh, dahil uh, kaya ng uh, Mapua makipagdapain dahil wala masyadong malalaki sa panic ng Litran. Of course, if you're just joining us uh, for Litran, Mark Andaya makes a two early fouls. He has seen limited action. Since, oh, three-point attempt here by Sean Cohen. He is fouled by Aaron Aban and that will be three free throws for the Cardinals. Now, again, that is... Uh, on the judgment of the referee because that can sometimes be considered a foul after the shot. Mm -hmm. But in this case, they're going to give him three free throws. Uh, we have uh, two veteran referees of the three uh, working in this game. Of course, we mentioned that for John Perry earlier. As you take a look at Mark Andaya on the bench there for the shot, the other one is Taylor Valiazer. No strangers to physical contact with the dalawang referees. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, Sean Cobb misses the front end of three free throws. And this is also going to tell down the stretch for Makua. In a close game like this, for every point down, they have missed a lot of free throws. Yeah, yung sabi natin, uh, Noel, eh, yung mga malilit na bagay. Yes. You know, that is uh, what separates the really good teams from the great. Even if you take a look at their first uh, game numbers, how many free throws did Makua miss? It was a two-point victory yes. for Lefran. And these were not just missed in a particular period like the fourth quarter. This was throughout the game. That's right. And a bad pass there for Rodriguez. Aldavi could not get there in time, so Veranga will recover. Subalino now playing uh, point guard here, and oh, that is a very, very long shot here. Maradito kay De La Peña. His first field goal here in the third quarter. He now has 10 points. Five point lead for the Cardinals, seven and a half to play. Now when the ball goes below the 15 foot line, they always try to double team whoever has the ball. Aban had a clear shot, but maybe the layup. De La Peña telling everybody to scatter. To Malino, De La Peña now, top of the key. Everybody playing the long board, nobody inside. Veranga tries his luck at a three-pointer, and it's And it is now an eight-point lead for Mapua. Starting to look like the first half again, Noel. If this is a game of first, Mapua should really pound it right now because that fourth quarter might just belong to Lebron. Bautista, Aldabi now working the right side. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. A drive here by Aban. Again, maybe it's the layup. But the follow up is there for Jonathan Figuera, the veteran. Well, it is the more experienced players of Lefran now who are starting to assert themselves. Because these are the guys who were part of Lefran's championship run a couple of years ago. Baraga able to break the trap. A very tall lineup here for uh, Horacio Lima. We never thought that we'd see a, a lineup for Mapua na mas malaki ng konti kaysa dito sa Lefran. Three-pointer. Oh, they are on fire. The Cardinals in this back-to-back three-pointer. Remember what we said in the first quarter. Mapua is a very good outside shooting team. So now they're starting to hit it more consistently. There's a double foul in the low post. And it is actually three three-pointers in a row already started here with de la peña and then later on it was veranga the three-point barrage continues for the uh cardinals right here with hermes to hitting that last one so the power of the three-point shot 
being used here by Horacio Lim and now they have a nine point lead. And Louis Alex is now making an adjustment. Now he's bringing in a couple of defensive players and uh, his big man, uh, Mark Daya, who's not only a, a threat inside but an excellent passer as well. Well, let's see how uh, what big an impact he can have with two personal fouls. Zitoville in Dai just checked into the game, almost lost it to Sean Ko. Bautista for three. No. Battle for the rebound. One here by Lefran. They get another shot at it. And the follow-up not yet there. The bounces have not gone the front way here in the third quarter, but the call of referee by there does go against the Cardinals. Now it is very rare for a referee to call an offensive foul in the backcourt. So, uh, so you have to look at whether he was allowed enough room to spin and still collided with the defensive player. It appears that that was the correct call there for referee Balyacer. Now it is 48 to 39. Mapua enjoying a nine point lead. Witness hardcore basketball battles in the 81st season of the NCAA with PS Bank Auto Loan. Simple lang. First time? Yes. Yeah. What's your name yet? Brittany. Great name. Who's best? Mr. Santiago? Everything's okay. You can see her now. Wow. That was fast. Beautiful. At PS Bank, we know what it's like to buy a new car. We make it faster and easier than you ever thought. PS Bank Auto Loan. Simple lang. Last time come bang energy drink, bro. Ito, hindi. New Ion Energy Drink from Revicon in sparkling citron flavor. Non-stop shilling and grooving. Top-rated shearing squads will bring it on in the Nestle Non-Stop Shear Dad at the 81st season of the NCAA of Studio 23. Only from you Nestle Non-Stop Rated R. Intoxicatingly good. That's all I have to say there. Wow. More wow. <laughs> One of the reasons they built a wall in Intramuros is to keep these two schools apart. <laughs> but it appears right now that the wall is not in Pasay City. It dies oh. from the outside. Mapua enjoying a nine-point lead. This is the Battle of Intramuros, actually. Uh, Bill, uh, glad to have you point that out to me during that last timeout. Mapua playing with a little more confidence and a little more consistency now, not throwing the ball over as much. My question to you right now is, Lefran, a tired team? I don't think so, Noel. I think it's more of, they're really biding their time and they're, you know, playing reasonably oh, well. It's just a good one in a Mapua. My, my, my explanation of tired as, uh, as San Co just the restores an 11 point lead to Mapua. Tired of uh, winning all these games. I don't think so. And when you're when you been when you are so far ahead of the, the the league, you know you want to keep on setting new goals and stuff so that there's no time in the near future when somebody can surpass you. Maybe the motivating factor here for Louis Alas is if we win this game, we're still on track for a sweep. Yes, as we uh, check out first a report from Vinya Tisa from the side of the Cardinals. Vinya. Another three-pointer there for Mapua. And this is now their biggest lead of the game, 14 points. And this is deep into the third quarter already. And believe it or not, Mapua is actually getting this done as we have a three-pointer in the third here for Moy and Bautista. Mapua is getting this done without any form of offense coming from their number one scorer, Jefferson Gonzalez. Well, he will come into play later on. You can expect that. And what a luxury that will be for Horace. And another three-pointer! For Veranda, Tristan Caranga is hit two three-pointers in this third quarter. So has De La Peña. But let's not get cocky. This is a very <laughs> strong team that you're playing against. Back to another 14-point lead. De La Peña fights fire with fire. Bautista already had a three-pointer earlier. Das Rock has been reduced to seven. A stretch and the layup is good there for Alcaraz. And he is down to a dozen. Let's 
you know, for, for an athletic, it's pretty much business as usual because they have come back from big leagues before. That's right. So the, the challenge is always going to be on Mapua to prove that he can hold off the track. Well, I was mentioning before that before the play, yeah, maybe a good motivating factor for Louis Alas as this is a very long three-pointer by De La Peña. Probably a good motivating factor if we win, if we win we're like a sweep. If we lose and PCU wins and overtakes us, we'll not be number one. That could be a good motivating factor. And Bautista responding right now. As he has hit five of the last seven points. Little Coponan Nang uh, Lebron. And he's also doing a good job of denying Kelvin De La Peña the opportunity of bringing up the basketball and executing the play. Right now here's Neil Pascual. Tumalino has caught fire here in the third quarter, but that time, hindi pumasok ka Jambira. Two minutes and 40 remaining here in the third. Bautista able to get a foul from Beranga, and that will be foul number three against Tristan Beranga. That will put Mapua in the penalty. I think uh, Mapua is getting a little too relaxed here because he's not a big lead. Well, let's see if they can uh, continue to have this big lead after this timeout. It is a 10-point advantage for the Cardinals. Titipid ka, may KFC Chicken Filet Crunch. 29 pesos lang. Hi, it's Paul. Can't talk. Leave a message. Where are you? This is Mom. Call me. Hi, it's Paul. Can't talk. Leave a message. Paul? It's Celine. I know you're there. Please pick up. Nestle Eclair. Delicious chewy caramel. Rich. Choco filling. So much pleasure to your mouth. You'll have no words. Hi, it's Paul. Can't talk. Leave a message. One more cup of pay for Edgar, Wong, Sarah, Chris, Justin, Tia, Anna, Ron, and Nico. Kung nagtitipin ka, new KFC Chicken Filet Crunch. 29 pesos lang. Time for the uh, power cheer from the Barcadas in Betos Power Gums Barcada here in the Betos Power Barcada are from the first year accountancy from Mapua and uh, they have a lot to be happy with right now as the lead uh, belongs to Mapua but it's been trimmed out to eight right now 56 to 48. Glad you're with us folks. This is Bill Noel Zanadel outside Bill Velasco as Jumalino misses a layup there for the Cardinals and here comes the run of Letran, it's tapped out by Gonzalez, who will stay here with uh, Letran as we take a look at the uh, field goals this quarter, 5 of 8 for Mapua and uh, 5 of 6 actually from 3 point range but you know, uh, Noel, we have a saying, you cannot live or die with the outside shot and the last couple of trips down the floor, Mapua has allowed penetration by Letran and that is a very dangerous sign and across, uh, uh, makes that, uh, we have a kicking violation here so it's also yeah, Migraso, I'm sorry. Yes, it will be uh, a shot clock reset for Letran. A minute and 55 remaining here in the third quarter. Papua has jacked up the lead to 14 points, and uh, let's see how the Knights respond to that with this report from Marlene Alcaide. Don't hesitate to attack the basket. Go to Louis. Go to Louis and it's okay. Thank you very much, Marlene. Aggressive defense is what we've been seeing, but somehow the aggressive defense has been inside for the uh, Lepran Knights. They have been limiting Mapua's inside attack. Pero yun nga, yung buhos ng three-pointers, lima three-pointers, ang uh, limang three-pointers ang binutiwan dito 
Pero ang tanong dyan ngayon, kakayanin ba na makuha na ganun pa rin kataas ang shooting percentage nila mula sa labas pagpasok mo ng fourth quarter? Well, it might be on the shoulders of this man who has yet oh, yeah. to score here in the third quarter. And uh, Jefferson Gonzalez finally with his first point well, since the second quarter. Well, I think it's a good thing for Mapua to be leading and, and yet Jefferson Gonzalez has not had a big outburst because he's a player who can play 40 minutes. So, come the fourth quarter, he'll still be relatively fresh. And he has not been really attempting to shoot. Yes. And he makes good on two free throws. He now has total seven points because of Jefferson Gonzalez. You know, we always say Jefferson Gonzalez is the kind of player that you wish every team had. That's right. Jefferson Gonzalez has still excuse me for the record, uh, averaging 14.6 a game and coming off a 23-point performance in their last game against St. Benil. And who would have thought? That's right. You know, he's the kind of player when, when the coach tells him, tells him to run through a wall, he'll, he'll ask how fast. <laughs> and that's what is how high is the question here. <laughs> As Balneg overshoots. And these are actually the uh, third stringers already for Coach uh, Louis Alas. Balneg is 0 for 3 from the floor, but he's uh, being given minutes by Louis Alas. Then nakikita ni Coach Louis ang tipag nitong batang to. That's right. And of course, uh, Louis Alas has already conceded this quarter to uh, Mapua. Fourth quarter na lang sa Babawi, although there's still a minute and seven remaining here. And uh, Lefranc's defense has really stepped up. And uh, the report of Marlene is uh, being followed right now by the uh, Lefranc Knights on the floor. Good job there by Mapua to deny the outside shot. Because uh, that's how they built the lead, so they don't want Lefranc to get it back in that way. Uh-oh, Gonzalez still has lifted up his one personal foul. And quickly now, Neil Pascual is going to come back in. And what I love about Mapua is when one player comes in, he's not in the same position as the player he's replaced. That's right. So you know that the other four players on the on the court know how to shift. At pag mo pa kalaban to Oh, oh. Dahil mag-iiba lahat ng matcha, parang domino yan. Exactly. And it's very rare that you see a team do that. Well, the uh, Horatio Lift System has been in place for very, a very long time already. And they are always a, a team that overachieves. <laughs> That's right. Aldavi made his first, misses his second. Another Aldavi double lane Aldavi violation. Aldavi. And the possession arrow pointing to the Latran Knights with 55.9 remaining here in the third quarter. Well, that gives a fresh shot clock to Latran, so they may get the ball back even after Mapua has a possession. Well, like thinking about the shot, thought about it too much, like the ad. Oh. See, the thing about traveling is your, your pivot foot leaves the floor after the ball touches the floor. That would get done. Oh. He tells that to Kobe Bryant. <laughs> well, they let him get away That's with That's right. Stuff. He gets away with so much, actually. Yeah. Well, the NBA is entertaining, actually. <laughs> Chonko, over to uh, Salud. Subalino gets played a lot of minutes here in the third. Nice spin move, but also a nice rejection there for Andaya. Bautista trying to break the sound barrier. No, but the follow-up is there for Aban. Good trail shot by Aaron Aban. And, uh, you know, the Cardinals are bleeding away the extra seconds that should go to Letran. So this is a smart move on their part. Almost an error on the inbound there between Choco and Salud. Choco has to bring it down. 14 seconds remaining. The shot clock is off. And again, Mapua loses the ball at a crucial stage of the quarter. Again, the little things, Noel. We've been saying it since the beginning. It's the little things that are going to help uh, Letran chip away at this lead. It wants to the 14. Well, it is now 7, so the Kalahati na. The 14 point lead is established just in this quarter. Final 5 seconds of this third quarter. Bautista spinning. Bautista escaping. That's short. And the third quarter will come to an end after 30 minutes of action. The Mapua Cardinals have reclaimed the lead right now, 58 to 51. Even if it was a 14-point lead earlier, they're glad to be entering the final 10 minutes with the advantage. We'll be back right after this.
built for the serious runner. Enjoy unbeatable hoop action in the 81st season of the NCAA with Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. It's like going into the ninth inning right now as uh, we have this uh, Converse shot block brought to you by Converse, the first school. Mark Andaya doing what he does best. He is six foot seven with long arms. And he has uh, recorded already two blocks actually in this game. As we move into the uh, fourth and final quarter, it's like going into the ninth inning actually of a, uh, of a uh, game where the pitcher is actually going for a perfect game. And look well, at the scoring points. of wow. uh, Letran. Uh, uh, tapering off as time goes by but expect uh, a big output from them the question uh, being on the part of Mapua can they sustain this uh, run of theirs well again we come back to that again in the fourth quarter of a, uh, a baseball game going into the ninth inning with a pitcher the starting pitcher going for a perfect game can let run get their 12th victory here Tonko missing from the outside or can Mapua Actually stopped them dead in their tracks right now at 11 and 0. That was the Malito. Sean Ko. Andrew Salud for three. That's rare. Pati na rin yung mga hindi dapat tumitira na three points. Tumitira na para dito sa Makua. Three point is going the other way for Alcaraz. At ito yung sinasabi natin, partner. Madaling nababawi din ang litran yung lamang ng Makua. Kaya... Depensa talaga ang magiging hamon para sa Cardinals. Well, Bill from Ohio, 14, 4 na lang ang abante rito ng Mapua. Sean Ko trying to get the lead back to uh, at least a little bigger by going for that drive. He is fouled. He will go to the free throw line. At alam mo, Noel, maganda rin yung ginagawa na ba? I think it was an offensive foul on uh, Sean Ko. Mapua has to keep on attacking the basket because that way they oh, will okay. force uh, Letran to play tougher defense they will get the big men of Letran into foul trouble and they'll get free throws and yet another turnover against Makua Raymond Tonko will sit down as uh, De La Peña comes in Ronje and Rile in the building yes, and uh, Achan uh, Gutierrez is actually also there it's uh, Christian Guevara Christian Guevara is also you know the uh, former players trying to give their uh, former school some support Aldang, uh, Andaya as you mentioned is a great passer finding an open teammate that time Pero wala rin yung tira ni Aldaki sa labas. The ball stays with the Knights. The numbers from our first half of Aksha for the, from the third quarter, rather. Shooting percentage for uh, Mapua. Amazing. 63% from the field. As far, no, three-point shots actually was 63%. Para di sa Mapua. Yes, that's a five out of eight. 41% in all seven of 17. Only 37% shooting for the Letran Knights in that third quarter. And There's Mapua a with a 1-2-2 two, two zone there. 1-2-2, two, two, pwede masingita dun sa may elbows. Eh. Yes, and, and usually you, you attack that with a two-guard front. That's right. So with 58-54, to 54, yung ating score dito, Mapua still up by 4, trying to add to that lead. Sean Ko thinking about a three-pointer, actually fires a three-pointer. Looking for a foul, did not get any. Pero problema dun, naka-screen si Jerby Del Rosario. Hindi siya pumasok sa loob para mag-free-back. Kita mo yung reaction ni Horacio Lima, anong uh, klase yun? Oo. Oh. And here's Aldave, short stab. Go, no. battle for the rebound. Andaya keeping it alive, and Bautista gets it. Goes cross-court, Alcaraz. Being watched here by De La Peña. Alcaraz gets the baseline. Fishes it out. Bautista, change of direction. Jumper is not there, but he will get a foul from Shanko. Oh boy. What a shifty point guard. Pero kita mo naman ang pindi ng depensa. So you do not get a good look at the basket right away. You really have to work at it. Bautista will remind me of a very young and right-handed boy at, uh, another boy at Boyat Fernandez. Oh yeah. 
A lot of similarities there. 11 points already for the Spitfire point guard for Louis Alas. Louis Alas got point guard this year. I remember correctly he was a, a shooting guard. Shooting guard. Uh, yes, he, he blew out one knee, came back, uh, played uh, in, in uh, one of the old commercial leagues, if I'm not mistaken, the PAPL before, and then he blew out his other knee. All right. <laughs> No problem there on the free throws. Marangay Boy and Bautista. And don't look now, the lead is only down to two. It was at 14 deep into the third quarter for Mapua. And you know, Letran is playing clinical basketball. Mapua is playing emotional basketball. That's so right. again, the question is, who can sustain? Well, the ball here from Rev. We have from Garnerio. It happened in front of the bench of Mapua. And he awards the ball to Letran. Horacio Lim is livid right now. Well, that's a nice word we haven't heard in a very long time. <laughs> well, it's better than the other word, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just, that's actually an understatement. For uh, what Horatio Lim had to say about that. Parang sabi nila, ano yung lipid? English nang labas ang lipid. Better it's not. Alcaraz, spinning. Alcaraz, that too many steps right there for Alcaraz. And you can see Mark Andai is very frustrated. He hasn't been getting the ball in the low post. He is an underused weapon of Letran in this game so far. Only two points so far para dito kay Mark Andaya. They rely on him for rebounds. But believe it or not, he's only gotten four rebounds in this game. Well, that's because he sat out a lot of the first half because of foul trouble. Kaganda dito kay Andaya. Hindi na nadagdagan yung foul niya. Fourth quarter na. And here's Gorospe. Bringing down the ball. Being pressured there by Aldave. Still a lot of time remaining here. Seven minutes and 15 in regulation. Now that word has to come up with uh, this, the game this close right now. Sean <laughs> <laughs> lost in regulation. Uh, you're referring uh, to someone uh, in particular? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm just saying like that, you know, these two teams battled for a two-point uh, game the yes, first time they that's met. That's true. And we're on course. In fact, even the scoring phase is on pace to get through that 69-67 uh, win. Very good observation, bro. And uh, right now, with uh, approaching the seven-minute mark, here's a drive. Coy has been very aggressive, and Del Rosario has finally come back to life here. What? Oh, important in the perimeter game ng Mapua because they've been living with penetrations and three-point shots. Wala silang middle game. Well, that's actually a dying art in the sport of basketball, the middle game. Three-second three violation against Mark Andaya. Well, that is so frustrating for the other part of Mandaya. He's asking for the ball. The moment he gets it, too late na. Kanina pa siya nandun. Tama. What uh, they should do is devise some place for him to, to flash from the weak side and get the ball as he arrives in the post. Para hindi siya double kick. More pressure coming from the front. Six minutes and 40 remaining. Gorospe has done a very good job bringing down the ball despite the press. Can he hang on to it? And apparently not. Well, he's trying to contend that the ball was not loose. But you see, when the referee is behind the defensive player, they don't see the point of contact with the ball. That's our jurisdiction, the referee Garberio. Six and a half to play. Gintai looking inside. Boy has been everywhere here. Cross court pass. Bautista falling away. Why not? He gets so many people to bite into that uh, ball fake of his. It's just. Unreal. That was a Eugene Kilban move just oh, there, yeah. right there. Comparison to so many great point guards now for this young man, Boyan Bautista, as the lead is now down to two for the Mapua Cardinals. Here's a, a drive and a pass yeah. for Brazil de la Peña. Can't believe he's a rookie. Let's take a look at the, some uh, pretty good uh, basketball we're seeing here from the two-point guard. Look at that ball away. Very much, as, as we mentioned, Eugene Kilban uh, actually plays that way. And uh, the other side, nalalaki si Kelvin De La Peña. Dinaan naman dito sa drive and De La Peña puts it in. As I said uh, earlier, Billy, it's so hard to believe this guy's a, a rookie. Well, he completes a three-point play, so again, maturity is going to be the major factor towards the end of this game. It is a five-point lead for Makua, and still plenty of time. Right now, Alcaraz has been trying this the whole night. He has been successful in the third quarter, not this time. 
And to pass, too dangerous. Apan was expecting it. De La Peña was expecting it also. Now De La Peña has a cross court. Drops it off inside. And we have a layup here for Sean Po. Sean Po now with a total of 13 points. Seven point lead for the Cardinals. When does the pulse rate of Louis Alas actually start rising? Well, I'll give it a couple more minutes. <laughs> Alcaraz trying to create some room. Stepped on the baseline. And with that, we segue to this report from Nina Cisa. Nina? No need to rush. Cardinals mahaba pa ang laban. But of course, they must keep their game alive by fighting for their rebounds and also tightening their defense. Sabi nga ni Coach, Napapagod din daw ang kalaban yet they must take advantage of that. Lastly, Coach Arashalim instructed his boys to leave the night with no escape. Noel? Thank you very much, Nina. And now Mapua. Another three-pointer. Veranda hurried that shot. Knights on the attack. Rodriguez on the drive. This is the layup. Foul for the rebound. Picked up here by Altame. <laughs> And see, now rebounding is going to become an even more critical factor and the trend continues to pressure in the backcourt. So it is up to Mapo not to react to That's this. right. De La Peña talking his head. That is the play that they're setting up with 4 and 40 remaining. De La Peña for 3. No, but the rebound is picked up by Raymond Chopo who sticks it. Big play there by Chopo. A lot of uh, composure being shown by the Cardinals. 67 to 60. The Cardinals still hanging on to a seven point lead. Four and 34 remaining here in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Power up for the unstoppable excitement of the 81st season of the NCAA with Mentos Power Gum, the chewing gum for instant fresh breath. I'll just be a minute. New Mentos Power Gum, the chewing gum for instant fresh breath. right now of uh, Father Victor Calvo, chairman of the uh, Letrana of the Tran, alongside Bernardo Atienza from, uh, the C from uh, College of St. Daniel, both members of the NCAA Management Committee, and they are here to take in this ball game. and what a ball game we're having oh, right yes. here. Absolutely, very, very well played, both teams showing a lot of uh, intensity, Letran knows what's at stake, and so does Mapua. And if you're just joining us, this is the 81st season of the NCAA right here over Studio 23. Coming to you from the Cudet Astrodome live. This is Noel Zarate alongside Bill Velasco. And we are down to the final four minutes at 23 of this ball game. The Cardinals are up by seven. And Lebron cannot seem to find a way to break this suffocating uh, defense by the Cardinals. So what, what Mapua is trying to do is force the shooter into the corner and then double team. So the, the exit pass is going to be harder to make. Shot clock's down to eight, by the way. And now it's down to seven. Alcaraz. No, that was a contested attempt. And uh, Del Rosario with another rebound. Del Rosario doing the little things. This is happening at the moment in little things. Yes. And letting Papua down. Now Del Rosario is doing the little things to keep them up there. Absolutely. Miranda going over to four. Shot clock is down to nine. This is a long attempt. Wala tinamaan para dito kay Raymond Chopo, quickly apologizing to Horacio Lim. So does Louis Alas start to panic at this point? Give it a couple more minutes. <laughs> no, but actually that is just seven points. That's just 
uh, three possessions. Actually, they were able to chop, uh, they, uh, chop away seven points in under a minute yeah. in the third quarter. Or in the second quarter, actually. And this is a team that is very deep in experience, so they'll find a way to scratch and claw their way back at least. Shot clock is down to eight. Still no clear shot. Available for LeBron. Finally, they get one. Bautista will miss. Offensive rebound picked up again by the Knights. And here's Aldabe from the outside. No, the follow-up is there for Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, a couple of the Cardinals were trying to flop and draw offensive fouls, but then if the referee doesn't call it, you have to recover and block out. At this point, we are looking for some kind of offense coming from Jefferson Gonzalez. He has not even asked for the ball at this point. Yet. It is 67-62. The uh, scoreboard here, Goretta, has not been reflected that last basket, and we have an offensive foul against Papua and the collapse is it imminent well let's see uh, two plays does not make a collapse that's right De La Peña seeing action once again Raymond Chonko will have to sit down three minutes and three seconds remaining now once once we get below three minutes uh, Noel you can start breaking down the game into the number of possessions that's correct and if Papua had a more comfortable lead, like uh, 8 or 9 points, then maybe they would start to slow the game down. They are still trying to look inside for some uh, normal points. Shot clock down to 7. They have to put one up. A 3-pointer not there. Rebound picked up by Aban. And he will go to the free throw line. There will be a foul called against the number 16. That is Sean Ko. And that is four fouls on Sean Cole, four fouls on Jefferson Gonzalez. So the two leading scorers for Mapua already in foul trouble. Okay, the past uh, few plays, Mapua has not really been boxing out that well. So perhaps Jerby De Los is a little tired near Pascual. Pascual has finished a lot of games for Mapua this season. So would you rather have Pascual or De Los on the floor for the final two minutes? Well, if you're looking for points, then you'd need somebody like Jerby Del Rosario. But if you're looking for somebody who can box out, who can uh, keep the bigger guys off the boards and flash the basket when you need a cutter, then you get somebody like Neil Pasquale. First free throw is made here by uh, Aaron Aban. And Aban with a total of 13. He also has seven rebounds in this game, but he's been relatively quiet here in the second half where he usually scores most of his points. Check that, he has nine rebounds in this game and now has 14 points. So the lead of Papua is down to three. Single possession na lamang to. Yes, indeed. Pascual, the center, had to bring down the ball. Ball going over to Gonzalez. This is the time where they really have to go to Gonzalez. Was just absent offensively in this game. De La Peña lost it. He can recover. De La Peña, five seconds on the shot clock. De La Peña jacks up a three. Again, it yes. would have been dramatic, but it was that kind of the kind of the shot that you want. Now the Knights can tie with a three-pointer. What was the score of the first game? 69-67? Sort of looking like this. Deja vu. Deja vu, exactly. And we do have our last two minutes right now. Lefranc's winning streak on the line. They lose the ball. Yes, uh, Eric Rodriguez was more concerned with blocking out than recovering the ball. 67-64. Can the Cardinals hang on with a minute and 55 remaining? We'll find out after this timeout. Part of the intense action of the 81st season of the NCAA with Globe Context. Be one of us. Music bad trip you. Hindi nyo kami mabibilang at hindi rin maikatahon. Marami kami muli. Ang aming passion ang awit ng jamatan. Ang awit ng panahon hanggang sa kina. Ang energy ng malt, suspension ng milk, sarap ng chocolate, sa araw-araw na natural goodness ng Milo, plus energy releasing oxygen E, malayo ang iyong mararating. New KFC Chicken Flake Crunch. 
real chicken na ginawang crunchy at cheesy pa. 29 pesos, di ka titipirin sa sarap. Best play is brought to you by Canon, delighting you always. And uh, the connection there between De La Peña and Sean Po. With 1 minute and 55 remaining, this game is far from over. Possession belongs to Papua and they have a three-point lead. Right. Game reset right here, Bill. Yes, it is very important for Papua to score on this possession and give some breathing room over the track. Pascual had to change his shot in mid-air. On top of that, Lepan has a very small lineup on the floor right now. So that the Adam Lake is a bilis. Game reset. Both teams only have one timeout remaining. Papua already in the penalty. And what a big basket there for Aldave. One point lead now for Mapua. Again, sinasabi natin, below two minutes, you can break it down into a number of possessions. Mapua will probably have three possessions left. They have to score on at least two of them. And they have to stop at least one possession here. Here's De La Peña. Oh, what a big basket for the rookie! Uh, si De La Peña on that last play, slipping. But he caught uh, the defense off with a change of rhythm. Right now, Aldave, they have to attack whoever's, uh, whoever De La Peña is driving. But De La Peña breaks up the play. Recovery in the backcourt and an offensive foul against Evan Aban. And Louis Alas is upset because of how that play was executed. Your suspicion has just been confirmed, Bill, as we take a look at this play once again. This was the uh, drive right here. It's probably when he landed because yes. he didn't step on anyone's foot before that. And right now, uh, Kelvin De La Peña is being attended to. As you can see, him wincing in pain after that last basket. But Kelvin De La Peña was still able to come up with a steal. Right now, he's being helped off the court, favoring that left leg. It's, uh, it could be a case of cramps or shin splints or maybe a sprain. Hopefully, it's just one of the three. <laughs> Nothing more serious than that. It, is, uh, it looks like it's the traps uh, right here, the way they were attending to him earlier, Bill. Now we have the final 60 seconds. 69, Papua. 66, Lefran. The crucial substitution here, Chonko coming in for De La Peña. Chonko is not as versatile a scorer as De La Peña is. That's right, but he's also a veteran. Oh, yeah. Sean Ko. Looking for Veranga, over to Ko. Still a lot of time on the shot clock. Almost losing it, and a foul called against uh, Lebron. That is not yet a shooting foul. That will put them at the limit right now. And that, and that happened right in front of the referee, so it's going to be very difficult to question that call. Both teams now at the limit, 14 fouls apiece. Nagkapo natin, may tag-iisa pang timeout ang magkabilang skwelahan. 49.8 remaining and that the crucial thing there so is that it renews the shot clock right. for Mapua if they score here it's going to be a five point game and therefore two possessions for Letran and now look at this substitution six foot seven and Daya coming in for five foot seven uh, Boyan Bautista for defensive purposes situational substitution here by Louis Alas Oh, cannot find anyone to inbound to finally gets it over to Veranga. And Veranga has forced into a traveling violation by Rodriguez. Remember the last time these two teams met? Who was inbounding the ball? Same guy. <laughs> now let's see if they can capitalize. They do not need a three-pointer at this stage. Oh, they do not. A quick two and then they will get the ball back. Whereas if Mapua had been able to trim 24 seconds on the clock, Letran wouldn't have had enough time to get two possessions. Aldave looking for a three, does not attempt it. Alcaraz is open for one for the tie. That's not there. Battle for the rebound. Recovered here by Aban. He's trapped in the corner. Aban out. Alcaraz now has a lob. Rodriguez traps the ball. Very big play there by Letran. Passes a little low for Rodriguez. Lost the handle on the ball. 26.7 seconds remaining. Do we see the end? of the longest winning streak this season in college basketball. Maybe it's time to panic now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen in on, uh, I think this is Horatio Lim. Are we listening to Horatio Lim right now? 
All right, let's take a let's stick out the front. Horatio Lim from Mapua. The question is, Bill, does Letran have to foul? Actually, they they do know well because uh, Mapua is going to bleed as many as 24 seconds off the clock and that will not be enough time for uh, Letran to get the ball back and get a decent shot and they, Letran would like to stop the clock and gamble that Mapua will, will miss a free throw here. But if uh, you, you can look at it this way, if Louis Alas is thinking that they have been so erratic in carrying the ball right now and they do have a rookie point guard, oh, wala na pala, nasa bench na pala. Yes. They do not have a point guard on the floor right now. Maybe they can afford not to foul and just force a turnover. Well, priority for Mapu is to get the ball in the hands of Jefferson Gonzalez, who's the, one of their most consistent free throw shooters. For the plan, priority is to blindside the receiver of the ball and try to go for a steal. Sharko inbounding, 26.7 remaining. Mapua up by three against the undefeated Lebron Knights. Sharko over to Choco. They're still in the backcourt. Go finally gets it over to Veranda. Veranda trying to run away. Veranda and finally, do they give up a foul? No foul called here and now a traveling violation. And that is big because 14 seconds to go. Lebron now has a chance to, to tie the game. They tried to foul, it was not called. And uh, Mapu was probably expecting, or maybe they imagined they heard the whistle already. No contact on that play, and that is a very good call traveling right there on Veranga. So now here's the situation with 14 seconds remaining. The question is, do you now go for a three? Let's listen in on, uh, to Coach Louis Alas. So guys, okay lang. Pag pumol sila dito, baka may half court trap ha, yung 1-2-2 ha. Okay lang yan. Wala. Napapatanggap natin, Jonah, tingaw. Okay. Papatanggapin kayo niyan, pare. Wala na tayong abot sa game. First available 3-point shot, kukunin natin. Pero, kung pwede kayong drumive, Boyet, kanina ang ginawa mo, isang triple mo palang pinasa mo na, kaya nabasa yung passing game. Pare, ang galing ng binibit natin eh. Now, git kayo ha. Pare, next guy, kakatayo. Pabalik dito, pag natanggap nyo, wala kayong 3 points yung available Pero, dito na pa ka Huli natin yung 2 points Huli natin yung 2 points, hindi na right away, then fall right away Kaya kung pwede nga gawin, nagawin Pero ulitin ko, Boyet, I want the ball in your hand Boyet, Paul, Harold, Patan Options have been spelled out very clearly by Coach Yes, Alas the first open three-point shot they get. But if they are able to dump the ball inside, get a quick two points, then try for a steal or a foul. Because, again, you do not need a three-point shot yet because there is still an opportunity for you to get the ball back if you are able to foul and they miss. That's right. So they go for the higher percentage shot, but according to Louis Alas, Let's just get the first available shot right now. Let's run 4 of 7 from 3 point range. So many choices. And uh, Louis Alas wants the ball in the hands of this man. Boyan Bautista. Alcaraz. They're using a bit too much time. And a 3 pointer. That is not there. And Mapua has it. And time will expire here. The layup will not only count, but that is over. It is over. Unbelievable. The Mapua Cardinals have ended the longest winning streak in college basketball this season, defeating Letran 69-66. And Letran cannot believe it at this point, Bill. Yes, Louis Alas is uh, concerned with a couple of the non-calls in the last couple of plays, and uh, still he congratulates the Mapua Cardinals players 
And big, big win for Mapo. What was important was that they held their composure in the last couple of minutes. Well, folks, uh, what, what a game we had. Let's uh, check out our Milo Energy player of the game. And our Milo Energy player of the game is none other than Sean Ko. After a splendid game against San Beda, wow, Sean Ko just came away with this uh, another brilliant performance here. 13 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and the energy player of the game is brought to you by Milo. Drink Milo every day. And the winning break, that will have to be this shot for Kelvin De La Peña. Right before he injured his left ankle, he was able to put this one away and that gave Papua another 3-point lead. And you can see him wincing in pain. And of course, that is the Lipovitan. The uh, winning break brought to you by Lipovitan Gargana. And we have some schedules to share with you folks. That's this coming Friday, August 26th. Our first game will have the all-important matchup between the San Sebastian Stags and the PCU Dolphins. Why is it important? Because if San Sebastian wins, they eliminate all the other two teams who are trying to uh, pursue them. And in our second game, the College of St. Manu Blazers going up against the San Pedro Red Lions. That's this coming Friday. If this game is any indication of the remaining games we will be having here in the NCAA 81st season, then we're in for a humdinger. All right. And the All final right. score, we have to just correct our final score. It is 71 to 66, so that last layup will count. A five-point victory officially for Mapua. On behalf of my partner, Bill Velasco, and all the hard-working men and women here in uh, abs and Sports, this is the Wells Zarate. Nagpapaalam po mula rito sa Coneta Astrodome. This is the 81st season of the NCAA, 1 at 81. Your sports news in a flash on Sports Report. Malapit na. Ngayong Viernes sa NCAA. Bibilib ka sa mga hila nila. Live from the Puneta Astrodome at 2 p.m. Sa Studio 23, Kabarakada mo. Oh, so sports.